What's new in Windows 11 22H2 latest release? In this video I'm going to show you the new Windows 11 22H2 features already available through the Windows Insider program. New file explorer with tabs. So in this video I'm going to be showing all about this. Start menu improvements. Again you can see more start menu recommended options. Windows also added a quick access button that opens the sign in options. Here are new snap layouts drop menu. See the new task manager design. It has new looks and more features are added. New video editor in Windows 11 clip champ. It's really amazing and I'm going to travel through this clip chap in this video. Okay. Now let me start. The first new feature and biggest is new file explorer with tab option. Here you can see there is a tab option of whereby you can work like the experience in the web browser. Instead of having multiple instances of the app or folders open, you can now use one instance of the app to navigate multiple folders and drive locations. Find a plus button to create a new tab in the title bar. Or you can right click a folder and select the option to open in a new tab. It's really amazing and if you don't know how to enable this new file explorer tabs I ready made video on how you can do it. Comparing the old and new designs, we can see some improvements and this is so amazing really. Okay, another new feature is. Start menu improvements. Windows 11 22H2 brings new settings to customize the recommended section in the start menu. Here you can see there are three layout. While it's still not possible to disable and remove the feature, you can now choose from three different options in the start settings page to show fewer recommended items and more pins, including more pins, default, and more recommendations. The more pins only shows a single row of items and allows you to show more pins. The More Recommendations option offers more recommended items and two rows of pins. The Default option shows three rows of recommended items and three rows of pin items. In addition, you can see there are some other options like Show Recently Added Apps and you can disable all of them. Another feature is the Start Menu Folders. You can now drag an app on top of another to create a folder. You can add more apps to a folder, rearrange apps within a folder, and remove apps from a folder. It's also possible to rename the folder with the Edit Folder option. It's so amazing and thanks to the Microsoft for this feature, you can organize everything the way you want to be. Another big feature is new task manager design. Windows 11 22H2 has a new task manager with a design that matches the desktop style. This includes a new hamburger style navigation bar and a new settings page. There is a new command bar on each page gives access to everyday actions for really Microsoft this time has made a great update that every should try out. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Okay. Another is. Clip Chap Video Editor. Windows 11 22H2 Update now has a build in editor. This video editor is so amazing and I think everyone is gonna try this editor because it has more features like screen and camera recording. You can now record your screen and camera in Windows 11 I will do a video on this clip champ. It has great templates to use like that of YouTube so this gonna help me for my videos. Remember if you want to learn how you can install this Windows 11 22H2 on unsupported PC the video is in description so you can check it out.
Another feature is sign-in options. Apart from the power menu settings, Windows also adds a quick access button that opens the sign-in options. Another one is quick settings. Windows 11 22H2 brings some changes for the quick settings fly out, including a new option to open the Bluetooth and devices. You can even add or remove pins. This is so amazing from this update. Do not disturb and focus. On Windows 11, the Do Not Disturb feature makes it easy to silence notification banners. In the notification settings, you can set up rules to automatically turn on Do Not Disturb. For example, you could automatically set Do Not Disturb to turn on outside your work hours. In addition, you can set priority notifications to control weather calls, reminders, and specific app breaks through when Do Not Disturb is enabled. Okay. Another feature is New Snap Layouts drop menu. Microsoft is also adding a new way to snap windows into snap layouts for both touch and mouse. You can try it by dragging a window to the top of the screen to reveal the snap layouts, dropping the window on top of a zone to snap it, and using Snap Assist to finish snapping your windows in the selected layout. It's so amazing I continue to thank Microsoft for making these great changes. So I think these are the best main changes in Windows 11 2H2H if you have something that you would like to share leave it in the comments. So thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice time.